Hello and welcome to Sex with Paula. I'm Nurse Paula, a sexual health nurse and educator. And today I'd like to give you a brief overview of what's up down there for people born with female genitalia, i.e. the external sex parts, plus a few internal ones that are manually accessible. Some people refer to the whole genital area as the vagina, but the vagina is actually only one part of the whole package and it's located internally. The vagina is a hollow muscular tube that starts at the vaginal opening where tampons, fingers, penises, dildo, you get the idea, are inserted and goes all the way up to the cervix. This is the vaginal opening, this is the vagina, and there is the cervix. The part of your genitalia that you can see from outside of your body is the vulva. Ooh. So not quite anatomically correct, but it is rated G. For everyone. The thicker outer lips are the labia majora, and the thinner inner lips are your labia minora. They're foldier, flappier, more delicate looking. The ones that go like This is where the vagina should be. Above that is the clitoris or the clit, which can be a big pleasure center. It has over 8,000 sensitive nerve endings. There's a lot more I could say about the clitoris if anyone had touched mine any time recently, but uh, that pretty much sums up the general overview of the vulva, but I've included links in the description below in case you want to dive deeper into your or your partner's vulva, and I really recommend that you do. Not all vulvas look the same, and that's wonderful. More variety in the world. Embrace your uniqueness. Remember to leave me a comment, subscribe to this channel, like my video, and if you have any questions, email me at sexwithpaula at gmail.com. You know you wanna. You know, I'm gonna write myself an email. Dear Paula, dear me, how do I get someone to touch my clitoris? <laughs> Wonder if I should try online dating. <laughs> Lol.